People ask me all the time about how to delegate, and the truth is I find most people ping pong between the two extremes. On the one hand, they tell people what to do, focus very much on the task, even if they're doing it in a kind way rather than an autocratic way. It's task oriented, here's what to do, here's how to do it, here's when to do it. And then on the other hand, they just delegate, which is really much more of a ditch and abandon, as in a here it's yours, good luck, and ooh, I hope you get it all right. Needless to say, neither of those are particularly effective for either the manager or the individual that's being delegated to. It's demotivating, both of them. There is an alternative, and it's a technique I use I call questioning, kind of like coaching in some ways. And it begins with understanding what the task is to be done and then asking questions that lead the person I'm delegating to to think through for themselves how that task is to be done. So I might start by asking someone I'm delegating a task to to tell me what they think are the three major phases that needs to be accomplished. And then I would say, great, let's focus on phase one. What do you think needs to be done? By when does it need to be done? Who needs to be involved in this? Who will need to sign off on it? Who needs to review it? How will you check for errors? I ask my questions in order to get that individual to think for themselves and articulate the answers. When I do that, of course I'm saying, right, that makes sense to me. Yes, good job. Great. Now, there's a benefit because at the end of this questioning, number one, I leave the individual feeling highly engaged and pretty smart and motivated. Number two, that means they're likely to do what they said they will do because it was their idea to begin with. Number three, I have a natural touch point. I can say, great, let's check in after you've collected the data, and then from there, we'll review about next steps. That gives me a chance to make sure that nothing has gone wrong, that I'm on track, that I know what's happening, and if any new information has come in, I can impart it at that point. And it's not seen as micromanaging. It's a natural check-in. So long as I don't go into interrogation mode or into telling mode. All right, now, better, number four, my boss calls and says, hey, what's the status with this project? Well, I can say, we're collecting the data. I'm checking this afternoon to make sure all the errors are sought. We should have an answer for you tomorrow at two o'clock. My boss doesn't need to know the details of who's doing it, how they're doing it, when they're doing it. My boss just needs to know it's covered. And in that way, I have everybody happy. I'm happy, it takes less time. My employee is happy because they feel motivated and empowered. And my boss is happy because the job is taken care of.